Hi guys, it's Millie, and since it's cold out today and I wasn't up to working up in the studio, I thought I'd do some alcohol inks. I saw this um, technique on Miriam's Nature, and you should check her out because she does some awesome work, but um, this is the result I'm looking for. It's very soft color and then it's got the bubbles and I thought that was pretty cool and this is another one I did and so I thought I would uh, do kind of a quick um, alcohol ink painting now this is what I'm working on is called Duralar it's a lot like vellum this is a fairly thick sheet I think it's 005, 005, I'm not sure what it was. But anyway, it come in big sheets and I cut them in half. So, uh, But this is plenty of room. And I was going to use my hair dryer to move the ink around, but I've got so much stuff on my table that if I do, I'll have ink going everywhere. So anyway, so what I did was I took some uh, different colors. I got, these are, Pinata inks by Jacquard, and the first one this is Senor Magenta, it's a really nice magenta color. And I just kind of mixed them, put some in there, put some uh, alcohol to lower, you know, to make it water down the color, is what I'm trying to say, so it's not so bright. And then I have, uh, let's see, Sun Bright Yellow, and this is Baja Blue, and this is Lime Green. And uh, even though the magenta looks really hot pink in the in the picture, it when it dries, it's a nice pink. So what I'm going to do is start, I'm going to put a little alcohol on here, and I'm going to pick up some the magenta. Now, since I put alcohol on here, I can either lift it up and slide it around like that. And before it dries up, I can go ahead and add, let's see, let me put some yellow in here. It's nice bright. I guess I got it brighter than I meant, but that's all right. And when you choose your colors, you want to get colors that kind of go together. So you're not left with a um, big brown mess where they you know, collided with each other and don't mix. Now I can't like uh, when I did this one painting, I um, I used some washi tape around it and I got a nice edge around it, which I don't really care because this is a big piece and if I um, decide to keep it, I'll probably cut it down to fit a frame. So. Excuse my reach. But let's see. Let me get the blue here a little more. Kind of got lost in the yellow. And 
that's what I got. Actually, I'm getting the rainbow. <laughs> the yellow, blue, and red. Now, these little lines, if I don't like them, I can just put more red over it and blow them out. Magenta here. And I'm just kind of going with the flow. And you can tell the masking tape's not really holding it, but that's okay. I just wanted it to keep it from going all over the place when I was trying to work with it. And let's see, let's put a little bit more blue over here. So now that I got that background covered, and I got myself dizzy because I've been blowing, <laughs> I covered these up because you know I'll spill them if I get a chance. And yellow. I figured since we had enough blue-green in there, I didn't need any green, so I'll just save that for another time. The nice thing about the alcohol inks is even if the, they dry out in this these cups, I can always add more alcohol to bring them back. Except I can't get the cup closed. Come on, cup. Little devil, you. One so okay, we'll just set it over here and forget it. So now I'm gonna get ready to make the bubble effect. And what I've got here is more alcohol ink in the the little artist trough, whatever thing you call it, palette. And these I I want to be strong colors. Well, I guess it doesn't have to be, but I like it that way. So what I'm what you do. And you can do this with plain alcohol. If you don't want to use color, and if you just want to make like white bubbles, you um, put some, I'm just gonna put some alcohol in this lid here. And I have a little tool here that has a stylet on the end. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dip the stylet in here and I'm just gonna drop it down and you can see right there, it's starting to make a bubble. Let's see if I can get this adjusted better. Sorry for making you dizzy. Okay. So anyway, so I can just, I can do plain bubbles like this. If I want to do bigger bubble, I just do it back in the same spot with more alcohol. And it will just keep getting bigger. So 
So I'm going to start over here. I'm going to do some purple ones. You can see it; they start to grow um, after you drop it down. You can, I suppose, use the end of a of a paintbrush. I had a little narrow one, oh. which would be better if you want if you're wanting a little bit bigger uh, bubble. But what I would do is dip your tip in and then let the excess alcohol on a piece of paper or something and then drop it down and you'll get a bigger bubble that way. The stylet works really nice because you can start out with small bubbles and you can always go back in the same spot to make it bigger. So you can... Um, make your bubbles kind of follow the, the line right here and see how that one kind of ended up with two and one. If I wait for it to dry, which is only a few, you know, it doesn't take long because there's not much alcohol in it, I can always go back and redefine that one bubble. And then I'll, let's see, we'll get some red here. I'm not good at um, making a little circle, so which is how Miriam did it. I guess my hand's just not that steady. But this little uh, this little ball tip on will hold just a, a drop of the paint and the alcohol, or the alcohol ink and the plain alcohol. So it's enough that I can go ahead and uh, put it down and like I said if I want to make a, a bubble bigger I just have to go back a couple times and add more alcohol on it and it will keep to keep growing so you can um, follow a line you can make a you know a design you can do pretty much anything you want with your bubbles I kind of like the following the line where they overlap from each other and I like to make the bubble start out small and then kind of progress to a bigger bubble that's just what I like to do like I said everybody can you know once you start doing this it's very easy um, And it's very fun. I mean, it really is. It's kind of interesting to see what kind of bubble you can get. But it, I don't know, it gives a, another dimension. This is brown I'm using. Kind of gives another dimension to your uh, alcohol ink paint painting. And it's something you can do without having to think about it a lot. <laughs> I can just enjoy the fact that I'm, you know, I can actually, if I wanted to, I could um, take my, my, my brush here with, and kind of splatter it on there, and I'll, get some little bubbles. First those are there we go. Trying to scatter them. And you get little tiny bubbles. So they almost did it. See some little bitty bubbles there. I 
I just think it's 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 a fun thing to do. Doesn't take a lot of uh, I don't know. I can't say it's not artistic, but it doesn't you know it doesn't you don't have to learn a whole bunch of stuff. It's it's a free hand. It's uh, how you want to do it. Where you think they should the bubbles should go. What colors you want to use, if you want to use color. And I just I just think it's fun. So the little pour I did or the turned out to be a swipe. Really dried pretty uh, with the iridescent green and the metallic blue. It really dried pretty. I. Um, was really happy how that came out. I just have to figure out what to do with, with it for a background. Every now and then, um, I get an inspiration to do a stencil of some sort. But I know. Now I suppose if you wanted to keep these little tiny ones um, or do more of them, let me wet my brush a little. They almost look like um, little pinpoints of light. <laughs> I like how it gives a different look. Let's see if you can see that. You can see all the little tiny bubbles. But, you know, alcohol inks are really, they're very, they're just fun. Uh, there's no right or wrong way to do whatever you want to do. And you're only limited by your imagination, so... So anyway, I'm going to play with this some more after off camera and I'll get this up and I hope you enjoy um, trying this. Like I said, it's very easy, it's quick, and it's, um, uh, I think the results are nice. I really, I really enjoyed how these come out. I think they, It, there's something, I guess it's whimsical to me about all the bubbles. kind of looks like they're trying to come from one area to another. So, anyway. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, give it a try. I think you'll enjoy it, enjoy doing it more than watching it. <laughs> so, uh, leave a comment, like, or share this. And I'm going to get this up on YouTube, so thank you very much. May God bless you all and keep you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.